uh, some people will tell you it's sometimes good to take a little time off, mm-hmm. especially after a grueling season. What, what did that do for you guys? You know, what did you mean to you guys? I just feel like it did energize us. It's a long season, you know, playing in the SEC. You know, you need a little break after a while. And then just getting your bodies back under you just feels good. And then just being back out here with your, your brothers. And it's just always fun just because everybody, it feels like the start of camp, everybody's just excited to go out and play football again because everybody feels good, you know? Yeah. You're, an, you're an edge guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, how, how, how much do you watch Josh Allen play in the NFL? And- his name still ring out, Ducky. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I was a recruit. I was a recruit the year he, the year he was here. So I mean, a couple years before he was here. So I mean, it, I've always like looked up to him just with him being who he is. I always, I, I try to watch him in the NFL, but you know, he plays the same conference as the Titans. So what was, <laughs> I root for him, but not too much. <laughs> what was the general message to the team? Um, just today. Yeah, not necessarily word for word, but what, what was the sentiment of what he was talking to you guys about? Don't let just. Go out there, play f- fast, play fun. We know who we are. We know what we do. We some dogs. Just go put it on the field. Start fast. Go out there and go play ball. That's what it was. I try not to get caught up in like what they've done. Then I want to see what you're gonna do now. Like what you're gonna do for these 60 minutes when we go play you. Like I'm not worried about anything you did before because it's not then. It's now. So you gotta live where your feet at. Appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Yeah, it's a little humid down here. Okay. All right, I'm ready. What we got? Eli, what's uh, what's been, what, what's it like knowing you're gonna have Ray Davis for this one more game, and the fact that he played for the NFL, but he still wanted to be out there one more time with you guys? Yeah, I mean, that means a lot to us. He's someone who's contributed mightily in the run game in the past game. And so I think it just speaks to the relationship that he has with the guys that he wanted to play in this game for us. And, you know, he's risking the injury stuff and all that for the draft coming up. So it just means a lot to us that he's willing to sacrifice for us one more time. I guess the job is give him, give him some clear, clear uh, path to run the ball. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to try and carve up some holes for him. Uh, what, what did that time off do for you? And to, to, like Draymond said, it felt like uh, training camp, you know, all over again, like everybody's ready to go. Yeah, I think it just rejuvenates everybody. You know, the season gets long. We play a lot of SEC games, a lot of good teams, all back to back. So to have a, a few weeks off after going for what feels like four straight months since June and July when we first got to campus was nice. Everyone can kind of refresh, get away from football for a few minutes, finish out the semester, visit your family. And I think it just helps when we get back here, everyone's ready, excited to practice. What did you see out there today in practice from your side of the ball? Yeah, I thought it was good. You know. We're a little more than a couple days into this game plan. We were working on a little bit when we were still in Lexington getting those practices in. So it's nice to still have a couple more practices down here, really put the finishing touches on things and get used to this Florida humidity a little bit. What about uh, Dan Luke Fortner? Yeah, it was great to see him. You know, I played next to him in 2021 and haven't really spent a whole lot of time with him since. So it was good to catch up with him. And he's doing good things here in Jacksonville and really excited for all of our alumni who are doing well in the league. What does that mean to the team to see guys like Luke and Josh who Realize everybody's dream and are doing well and, mm-hmm. and, and doing it for you know a playoff team last year and a contender this year. Is, it, is that an example of what can come out of the, of the hard work? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, everyone talks about you know working hard and doing the little things right, doing things the right way when you're off the field and on the field, and the results that culminate from those things. I think being able to put two faces to the name and actually see a real life example of two guys who have done those things to a T is really important. You know, everyone can, everyone talks about, it, everyone says it, but. To hear firsthand from guys who have done it and are currently doing it, I think speaks more volumes than any mantra you can put up on a sign inside the facility. All right, am I good?